All right. So what we're going to look at here is NFC hydraulics. Okay. The NFC hydraulics, this is what you'd see in a lot of excavators. Uh, different manufacturers use uh, different versions of constant horsepower hydraulics. The one we're going to look at here is NFC hydraulics. Uh, I recommend that you follow along and maybe sketch this out on a piece of scrap paper or in your notebook as we go, just so you can see how this goes together piece by piece. So we're going to start off with oil from our reservoir going to a variable displacement pump. That variable displacement pump is going to feed into a valve bank. That valve bank is a very standard open center hydraulic valve. An open center hydraulic valve has got a pass through. It's got our normal ports on it. Okay. So we're gonna have tank. We're gonna have pump flow coming to the pass through. That same pump flow is gonna go to a P port and it's very normal to have a load check at that location as well. When we start to use our functions, we block off the pass through and we divert oil off to our cylinder. So when we send oil off to the cylinder, I'm just gonna put a cylinder up top here just so that we have that on the sheet and we're just going to send oil over to the cylinder. Okay. Now, so far, this looks pretty simple. It's a basic open center hydraulic system. It has a variable displacement pump. We haven't talked about how that works yet. We will in just a sec, but there's nothing strange on this, is there? No. If we jump over and take a look at what happens to the pass through oil, that's where we uh, start to look at what makes an NFC hydraulic system work, okay? So normally, when we have oil uh, going through the pass-through, where does it head to? Tank. It goes straight to tank. And after that oil goes to tank, it just circulates back into the pump. But when you've got NFC hydraulics, we do something a little bit different with that oil. What we'll do is we'll run it through an orifice, okay? and then we let it go to tank. This is NFC pilot orifice. Okay, that NFC pilot orifice, it creates some back pressure in that pass through oil. If I create back pressure in the pass through oil, what that's gonna do is it's going to create a pressure signal that goes back to the pump, okay? I'm not gonna draw out the whole valve for the regular. I'm just gonna show it as a compensator here because it doesn't really matter at this point. What I wanna do is I wanna illustrate that the pressure signal that controls the pump regulator, and notice I'm calling it a regulator, not a compensator, because that's the terminology we use for this type of system. So that pump regulator is what operates the servo that upstrokes and destrokes the pump. That's our NFC pilot pressure. So if we're gonna take a look at how this works, the NFC pressure, the NFC pilot pressure, uh, when there's no flow demand in the system, where's my, where's my valve? Where's my directional control valve? Control. This should be in neutral. So when there's no flow demand on the system, the valve is in neutral, but that means I've got the most flow going through the NFC pilot orifice, right? And that means that my NFC pilot pressure is gonna be highest. Now, as I start to stroke this valve over, 
uh, my DCV, my directional control valve. So as I stroke that directional control valve over, the spool is moving and the spool is restricting oil flow that's going through the pass-through and it's diverting it to the cylinder instead. So the more I stroke that spool over, the less oil ends up going through the NFC pilot right there. If I stroke that valve halfway, then maybe I divert half the oil from the pump through the valve to the cylinder and the other half just goes as pass through coming from the pump. But that means that there's going to be less flow going through the pass through and my NFC pilot pressure is going to start going down. If I stroke the valve all the way over 100%, then I completely block off the pass through and that means my NFC pilot goes down to its lowest value. Okay. So NFC pilot pressure is a good indicator of my main spool valve position. The more flow I want, the lower the NFC pilot pressure is going to be because the more flow I want going to that circuit, the more I'm going to open that spool. If I'm just feathering the spool, then I obviously don't need a whole bunch of flow. So the pump doesn't upstroke very much, but the pump is going to upstroke as that pilot pressure drops, okay? So my pump stroke goes up when my NFC pressure goes down. So that's the basis of how this works. And so far that's actually not that complicated, is it? Let's imagine for a moment what would happen if I let go of that valve all like just drop the handle and it goes right back to neutral really fast. Now I've got a fair bit of pump flow and it's going to come through that pass through, which is all of a sudden open again. And we're going to have a huge spike of oil flow trying to get through that pilot orifice. And that could cause a pretty good bit of pressure to build up. So there's another thing that we'll always have, and that is an NFC pilot relief and that limits maximum NFC pilot pressure. Okay. And that's only if there's that sudden surge of oil when the valve springs back to neutral. Okay, we're gonna add in another feature here. And this is the feature that helps the system to destroke as the load increases, because what I told you guys right off the hop was that NFC pilot pressure determines pump output flow. That's true, but that's not the only thing that determines pump output flow. The other thing is pump output pressure. Okay. So as my pump pressure climbs, my flow is gonna decrease. So even if the NFC is trying to ask for lots of flow, then my pump output uh, pressure is going to override that flow request and start pulling the pump back as the pressure demand increases. And that's why when you've got an NFC hydraulic system, the pump output looks kind of like that. Okay. Where you have flow and you've got pressure. Okay, so as your pressure climbs, your flow is gonna drop off. As your pressure drops off, your flow is gonna climb. And that's because of the two different things that we have controlling this. Now there's a, another thing that we have controlling this as well. And to illustrate that, I'm gonna show the DCV with pilot controls. And it's important to understand that there is an FC pilot, which is kind of like what load sense does on pressure compensated load sensing hydraulics. It tells the pump how much demand there is. Okay, we call it NFC pilot pressure, but don't mistake that for machine pilot. Okay, so your machine pilot, that's what actually moves your valves back and forth. So that means that we have to have some sort of a pilot pump in the system 
And that pilot pump is just a normal little pilot pump that sends oil off to the valves through your pilot valves in the cab to move your main um, spool valves back and forth. What we can do though, is we can tap into that pilot oil signal with a valve. And I can send that down to the pump compensator as well. That is a proportional solenoid valve, sometimes called a power shift valve. And what that valve does is it destrokes the pump if there's too much hydraulic horsepower demand and the engine can't keep up. So if the engine starts to lug because of a sudden surge in hydraulic horsepower demand, rather than have that machine stall, we just send a quick signal that destrokes the pump. Now, something, I don't know if you guys are picking up on this yet, but take a look at this. Anytime the pressure is high at the pump regulator, So anytime that there's a high pressure signal to the regulator, whether it's high pressure uh, from the NFC, whether it's high pressure from our pump output pressure that we're sensing, or whether it's high pressure that came from the power shift uh, valve, anytime there's high pressure on the pump regulator, that's a signal to de-stroke. Anytime we drop the pressure, That's when we want to upstroke the pump. All right, this right here, this is NFC hydraulics in a nutshell, guys. It starts off really simple. It starts off with just a basic open center hydraulic system. And that open center hydraulic system, instead of dumping the oil straight back to tank, we put a, an orifice there, a restriction. And that means that any oil that's trying to flow through the pass through on the valves has to hit that orifice first. That builds up some back pressure. And that means that if my valves are in neutral, my pass through oil flow is going to be the highest. That oil flow being high there is gonna be a signal to the pump that there's no demand because the valves are in neutral. If I use one of my valves that starts to close off the pass through oil and that's a signal to the pump my, uh, my dropping NFC pilot pressure, that's a signal to the pump that it's time to upstroke because there is demand for oil flow. As the load on the system starts to increase, the pump output pressure starts to rise. And that is another signal to the regulator that it's time to start destroking so we don't exceed the horsepower capabilities of the engine. If a scenario arises where we end up with too much hydraulic horsepower demand on the engine, then we tap into the machine pilot circuit with our power shift valve. We open that thing up and we send a pressure signal back to the pump regulator to cause it to destroke. Okay.